the biggest mistake I made during COVID, man, um, when I was lo on lockdown, I watched too many episodes of Undercover Boss one day. You know, you just binge watch some shows. And I used to love that show. And then when you watch like six, seven straight episodes, then you realize how stupid a show could be. Because it's the same shit every episode. It all, every episode under Kavasa, it starts the same and ends the same. It starts out, they introduce you to the CEO, so multi-million dollar corporation, and the CEO wants to go undercover where the minimum wage workers are working, and he wants to work with them for one day to see how he can boost morale, productivity within his company. So usually it starts out, it introduces you to like some 60, 65 year old man, and he's like the CEO of Panera. He's in charge of all the Panera bread, right? And he wants to go undercook, you know? So it's a Panera. You know, put on a wig, a mustache, and a hat, some fake glasses. And then this 65 year old man will randomly show up at a Panera alone. And then they pair, they usually pair him up with like some 23, 24 year old young lady. And this young lady now has to train the 65 year old man how to make lattes and soups and salads and cookies. Because that's normal. 65 year old motherfucker just showing up at Panera to work the line with the camera crew. Happens every day. And you don't even train for an hour. He only, he only trains like an hour. He ain't there all day. Like an hour. You know, like gets there at 10, trains till 11. And then him and a girl will go in the back break room of Panera. And this chick will open up her whole fucking life to this man she's known for an hour. That don't happen in real life. I worked at Taco Bell in high school. I can't imagine some 65-year-old dude showing up at Taco Bell, and I got to train him. And then he starts asking me undercover boss-type questions. After an hour, we're in the back of Taco Bell. He's just looking at me. Hey, Gary, Gary, Gary. Hey, listen, thanks for training me today. You like working at Taco Bell? It's all right, it's Taco Bell. This motherfucker, yeah, it's my dream job. So hey, Gary, let me ask you one more question. Hey, hey, why did you choose to work at Taco Bell? Why, why are you asking all these questions, man? I don't know you. You 65, I'm 17, ask yourself that question. Why are you working at Taco Bell? No, fuck him, I ain't wanna train him. I was supposed to be on the register, now I'm back in this hot ass kitchen banging out bean burritos because this old motherfucker finally wants to do something with his life. Can't put the sour cream in the gun, his hands shaking his shit. Take your ass to Arby's, I'm trying to hear that shit. What, 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 what? <laughs> Not an undercover boss though. Undercover boss, you don't get answers like that. Undercover boss, 65-year-old man, gets to the Panera 10, trains to 11, him and the girl will go in the back of Panera, she could open up her whole fucking life, man. So, hey, hey, hey. Thank you for training me there, Panera. You like working at Panera? I love it, I love it, yeah, it's everything. You know, when I, when I got here, I thought I'd be here six months in the hospital. Here I am, three and a half years later, you know? I can run the register by myself, I can make the salad by myself, I can the by myself. Because when I, when I got here, my life didn't really have a direction, it did, but now it has a direction. And that direction starts with the P and ends with an A, and in the middle there's an Panera. And I'm going to the top of that Panera Mountain, I am, and I'm not going to stop till I get to the top. I don't know where that mountain is, where I find it, I'm going to climb it, I'm never coming down. Because I'm a Panera for life, I love it here. But you're a, you're a, you're a beautiful young lady. You're a beautiful young lady. You can probably choose to work anywhere. Why'd you choose to work in Panera? <laughs> well, um, uh, heart, heart. My dad's got cancer, and um. You know, growing up, my dad, my dad used to make me oatmeal every day for breakfast. And now that I'm at Panera, I'm actually in charge of the old, old oatmeal raisin cookies. So every morning when I take those oats up and I mix up that batter, I think about my dad. You know, my dad's proud of me because he's my meal oatmeal. I make another people oatmeal raisin cookies. <clears throat> this 
It's not perfect here, Panera. I love it here, but it's not perfect. You know, like, if I could change one thing about this company, I just wish we could put two more raisins in every oatmeal raisin cookie. Because right now, we put 16 raisins in every cookie, and we can't guarantee a raisin in every bite. But they're selling people oatmeal raisin cookie. What we should call it is oatmeal, maybe you'll get a raisin cookie. So I suppose we could change that. I got a, I got a, I got a son. He's also I'm here. I got a son and I got a daughter. You know. Yeah. And my son's my world. He is, but he's blind. He can't see shit. But he loves the smell of oatmeal raisin cookies. He does. So every morning when I take that first batch of cookies out of the oven, I close my eyes and I take a big whiff of those cookies and I think, wow. This is my son the smell if he was here right now. And for a brief moment every morning, I know my dad's in my heart and my son's in my nose when I take those cookies out of the oven. I do. And I got a daughter, like I said. She's my life. My son's my world, but she's my life. But she doesn't want to be a girl anymore. She wants to be a boy. So we're saving her for the surgery right now, but I found out you got to be a Panera for six years to qualify for medical insurance. I've only been here three and a half, so i got to wait two and a half more years, and hopefully we can get the surgery and I can turn Jennifer into James. Right now, I've got to wait. And, that, and that's just the first 30 minutes. Then they cut the commercial break, and then they come back, right? And when they come back, now the CEO, he's back at his house. He's taking off his wig, his mustache, his glasses. He's reflecting on his hour at Panera. <laughs> then they cut back to the girl that was training him. Now she's in an SUV headed to Panera corporate headquarters. She don't know how she's going. And she gets there, he's sitting in a big, beautiful office. And then they cut back to the CEO. Now this dude went home, got a shower, shaved. Now he's got a three-piece suit on. Now he's looking like the CEO of the company. And then he just walks into this office. And now this girl that just trained him five hours earlier is looking at him like, I know you, but I don't know how I know you. Just confused. <laughs> Charlie! Charlie! Is here, Charlie? Well, um, <laughs> my name's not Charlie, first of all. My real name is Douglas Krauss. I am the CEO of Panera Bread. And I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, that six months of spending today changed everything for me. It really did. I saw your passion for our company. I saw your enthusiasm for our customers. And I said to myself, wow, this is the young lady we need here for a long, long time. So after I left you today, I took a few steps to ensure your place of Panera for years to come. The first thing I did when I left you today, I made a $10,000 donation to the Cancer Society in your father's name. That's the first thing I did. The second thing I did, I ordered 30,000 raisins to be distributed all throughout the country. So tomorrow, we're gonna put two more raisins in every cookie and we are now gonna guarantee a raisin in every bite thanks to you, I appreciate that. And then you told me, you told me about your son and how your son's blind. And I wasn't okay with that. So I wanna help your son out and I want to give him my eyes. I want to take my eyes out and give them to your son. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Okay. Panera. Wow. Emotional. Let it out. You deserve it. Let it out. <laughs> and then you told me about your daughter. Now your daughter needs that surgery. But you don't qualify for medical insurance. So I put in a waiver. You are fully covered immediately through Panera Bread. You can apply for that surgery tomorrow. Still want enough though. Still want enough. So I talked it over with my wife. I want to help your family out. And I want to give your daughter my dick. I want to cut my dick off and give it to your daughter. What the fuck?
My daughter's gonna have a dick. My son's gonna see it. My son's gonna be able to see my daughter's dick. It's the stupidest fucking show on TV. We're crying and shit. Just go to the next episode. Dutch Brothers. Company made from the ground up. <laughs>